Hi guys, Frank here from Build Your Own, and this is my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500. And I just, just last week, I just put a four inch Rough Country GM suspension lift on this truck. I love the lift, but it created a problem. These 15 inch wheels no longer fit. The Rough Country website said nothing about having to change wheel size or anything like that. This four inch lift called for a taller spindle. And yeah, now this 15 inch rim, it rubs a little bit on the inside there. So I just ordered a set of Vision D window wheels, 17 by eight. They just came in. Let's take a look at them. Well, here they are. They're still in the box. I'm about to head over to Le Schwab here in just a second, but I thought, let me open it up. Take a look at this. We only get to see it in the box once. There they are, the Vision D window, right? Very, very nice wheel. Uh, it's a modular style steel wheel. Uh, the wheel features a unique circular D window cutout design. It includes a push-through center cap with the Vision brand logo. I ordered these wheels from Discount Tire, and they forgot to order the center, uh, the center uh, uh, push-through center cap. So they, I got that on order. So we're gonna get the wheels installed today without the center cap. So I don't know if you can see this wheel, but yeah, it says it's a, a gloss black finish, no stripe. Uh, style 84H if that matters for you if you want to look this wheel up for yourself uh, This wheels in a 17 by 8 apparently these vision D windows. They come in 15 16 and 17 inch uh, These are negative 12 offset, you know, and it's got the uh, 5 by 5 bolt pattern for the Chevy for a Chevy truck And there's a better picture so you can see what it looks like with the center cap Unfortunately, I won't have mine today. What we do have is uh, new wheel uh, lug nuts they look very nice. They come with a lug nut key. I figured why not. And so, yeah, we'll get these put on. So let's head over to Le Schwab and get these tires put or get these wheels put on. I'm not sure which tires I'm going to get put on. I'll check it out when uh, when we get there. All right, guys, we're here at Le Schwab. We've got all the wheels in the back and everything. And if you follow the channel, you'll remember that the last time we were at Le Schwab, we stopped at the Dodge dealer on the way home and saw some really awesome challengers. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. I'll also put a link in the description below to uh, when I got the lift kit put on the truck. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this truck. Hopefully the next time we turn the camera on, the truck will have those 17 inch uh, Vision D windows on and look a lot better. All right guys, as you can see, I'm actually back. The truck has the wheels on it. It's lifted. It was really busy at Le Schwab and sometimes it's just not always easy to turn on the camera. I did take a couple of pictures, however, and I'll put those pictures up right now when they had all the wheels off the, off the truck and everything. I think it turned out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. It's been my goal to lift this truck since I purchased this truck. I bought this truck, oh, it's been almost a year now. I spent $1,100 on this 1994 Chevy C1500. It was an old farm truck. Not bad for an old farm truck. Original motor and everything. This truck looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. These Vision D window wheels, the four inch uh, rough country lift. Just got done waxing it up. I've been using all the Griot's products on it. It looks fantastic. I tell you what though, this Endeavor lifting the truck has cost me a lot more money than I anticipated. So the Rough Country lift was $500. I spent $800 to get that lift installed. So what are we looking at? We're at $1,300 there. And then the whole reason that I have these tires, these Vision D window tires, and I went over to Le Schwab. These are the Le Schwab uh, open uh, open range all-terrain tires the only reason I have this whole tire package is because once we lifted the truck my original 15 inch wheels they were rubbing on the new uh, lifted spindles that were put on the front so I had to get a wheel and tire package I spent four hundred dollars on these vision D window wheels I spent nine hundred dollars on the tires today, $900 and change. So another $1,300. So we're looking at $2,600 and probably miscellaneous, a few other things. I bought some wheel spacers so those 15 inch wheels would fit. So that way I could get it home because it wasn't, when I got the truck lifted, the truck wasn't close to home. So it wasn't gonna move unless I got the spacers on there. So yeah, about $2,700 all in. So just under $3,000 to lift this truck. Certainly a lot of money uh, to, to get this done, but I'm very happy with the result. 
And so this is my not only my first truck, but also my first lifted truck. So I'm really happy. There's actually no fitment issues or anything with it. I will say that when I do turn this wheel, however, there is a little bit of rub here, but it's not because of a fitment issue. This fender, if you look at this front bumper, this front bumper has been hit and pushed in a little bit. Uh, the clearance on the other side is totally fine. You can see it's got a lot more room. Here's the cool thing though. If you ever heard of LMC truck, then you know about all the parts and everything that you can get for your truck. So I just got a new bumper, all the hardware, everything to redo this front bumper. It's going to be a black bumper. I'm going to paint the grill black so it'll match the wheels really, really nicely. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow along because those parts are actually on order. And hopefully, well, they're coming via Fiat, uh, FedEx. So who knows exactly when they're going to get here. Uh, probably within a week or so, we should start seeing those parts. And then I'll do a video uh, putting, that, putting together that front end. In the meantime, you can go check out my video where I installed my Edelbrock Performance Air Cleaner. And you can check out that video where I installed my Optima Yellow Top Battery. Right? I've done a lot of videos on this truck. I'll go ahead and put all the videos I think are relevant, ones that you might want to check out. I'll put them in the, in the description below. I'll also put the link to the playlist for this truck. That means all the videos I've done for this truck since I've owned it, such as the very first video. So if you want to see what this truck really looked like when I first bought it, watch that very first video where I did the walk around review. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to go ahead and file away my uh, Le Schwab paperwork. I've got a lot of records on this truck now. <laughs> I've spent a lot more money than uh, what I purchased this truck for, but no regrets, no regrets. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this information informative, helpful, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm gonna tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.